Hello and welcome to another Sporty's Flight Sim Review video. Today we're going to talk about how to set live weather and live traffic in Microsoft Flight Sim 2024. It's a great feature that it's able to pull in some of the latest METAR or TAF reports and also traffic, whether it's active aircraft flying through the air or other simmers in the program, it's able to actively and accurately populate them into the program and gives us a great uh, flying atmosphere, if you will. You know, uh, when you're out flying in a real aircraft, you gotta be weary of other airplanes around you, whether it's on the airport grounds or up in the air, and you're able to do that accurately with the simulator also while making sure you have accurate weather. So let's jump on in and I'll show you how to configure it from the get-go in Flight Sim 2024. Okay, so here we are on the home page, and the quickest way to set it to live weather would be in the free flight tile. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose our home airport, Claremont County or India 6 er And as we jump into the flight conditions, we currently have weather and time is custom, air traffic is off, and multiplayer or other live players is off also. We're gonna change all these to live. So weather and time will go to live right there, air traffic live, multiplayer live. Now, a lot of this information will be streamed, so it is advised to have a pretty good internet connection, whether that's Wi-Fi or old hardwire. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you have a decent connection. If you're getting a low, you know, few, five, six, seven megabytes a second, you may be stressed on the system, but anything north of that, which is pretty common these days, you'll be all right. So we can confirm we're using live traffic based off of these settings. We've got check marks across the board. Let's jump back into the simulator. So right now, Claremont County Airport in the program, we're getting an indication of VFR, winds out of 257 at eight knots. Let's go ahead and check that. And I have metar-taf.com open for India 6 er Let's refresh it. And as of right now, winds are out of 250 at about seven knots, which is pretty darn close to what the simulator is populating. So we're getting accurate readings in the program towards what we want to test out. If you zoom in, you'll see there's a airplane 784 Sierra Alpha that is populated in our area. As I zoom out or go over to the busier area of CVG, you'll see a lot of other aircraft over there. We've got one that looks like it's on approach into Lunkin, and then also a couple aircraft on the ground at Lunkin. So it is populating those aircraft targets accurately. Let's go ahead and take off from Claremont County and see how the weather as well as aircraft targets look like. Now, when you have these live settings configured for the program, loading times will increase. As we hit the fly now button, you're gonna see it takes a little bit longer to jump into the digital aircraft because it's populating all those weather settings, the humidity, the wind, the cloud, ceilings, uh, dew points, barometric pressures, and then it's also populating all those other aircraft. So if you notice it's taking a little bit longer, that's why. So here we are in the aircraft, you'll see clouds are populating. We're no longer in the clear sky days. We can jump right on out the aircraft and let's go ahead and take off. I'm removing my parking brake with control and spacebar. Flaps will stay at 10%. I'm good with that for now. Let's go full throttle. And we are rolling. There's that wind. We'll retract our flaps and climb out at that airspeed. Now, it looks like the aircraft that was populating was holding short of runway four beneath us. You'll see it right there. But it gives us some of those indicators of its altitude, tail number, and a couple other features. Just for sake, let's head on over to Lunkin and go see some of the aircraft that are populating there. 
All right, so as we are flying to Lunkin, you'll see on the screen there's quite a bit of traffic, almost to the point where definitions or distinctions are getting overlapped. So it's a little difficult to understand who is where. You can turn that off with some settings. Another thing I like to highlight is uh, I'm usually flying with my iPad running for flight along with a Sentry Mini or a Sentry Regular. And that is able to pick up other aircraft and produce them on my tablet. Well, with the EFB widget within Microsoft Flight Sim 2024, we can do something similar. You'll see here is the moving map for my aircraft and here are those other aircraft. So on screen 21 Lima Foxtrot is on short final. You'll see that is populated on the EFB. And then we can see all the other aircraft that are on the ground are right here also. Now as I zoom in on the iPad, I'm not gonna get indications like I would on ForeFlight, but still we have a moving map showing those aircraft. And that's something that, again, I like about the program is the EFB brings us closer to real life a little bit. All right, so it is getting a little bumpy. We've got quite a bit of wind up here. We'll fly a left base for runway 21 left. We'll bring it in and land. You know what? Considering winds, let's go for runway 25. That'll be better. I'll make my radio calls simulated. I'll start bringing our airspeed back. We'll throw in some flaps and come into land. See all those other aircraft in there. All right, so we are getting jostled quite a bit. I'm going to stay with 20 degrees of flaps. Keep coming in. We'll aim for a little bit higher touchdown speed. So there we go. That user in front of us, because of that name, we can tell that they are a simmer rather than an actual airplane that's being populated just based off that name. But yet, over here we have November 21 Lima Foxtrot. That would be a real aircraft that's been pulled out of FlightAware and populated into the sim. All right. So we'll land right behind that other digital aircraft. And you'll see those other aircraft that are on the field populated. We've got four, five, four Gulf Bravo to the left, a couple other here, and it's giving me some taxi guidance also. Get me off the runway as soon as possible. There we are. So just as it's a windy day here in Cincinnati, we had the same experience in the digital aircraft as it populated those METARs. And it really gives you the option of, if you're not able to go fly in your real life aircraft, you can go practice it in the digital one. And maybe get a feeling of what it would have been like had you taken off in a Cessna 172 from Claremont County Airport and flown to Lunkin. Uh, these other aircraft are doing it in a 172. I wouldn't advise it today, but we can do it digitally and safely from the comfort of our chair. So that's how you're able to go ahead and populate live traffic and live weather in Microsoft Flight Sim 2024. There are plenty of scenarios where it's beneficial to have those up and running, also to see how busy a traffic area is, and uh, just a really nice feature that Microsoft brings to the table to make this a more accurate representation of flying an aircraft, even though it's on a PC rather than the physical airplane. We hope this video maybe answered a question or two of yours you might have had about live traffic or live weather. We thank you for tuning in and we'll see you on the next one.